What is up, guys? We doubles back again with a brand new video. Today, I want to get back on the Hoplite build. That is our spear and shield build from the last video. We got pretty far. We did a lot of PvP, got our first high risk kill where we got loot drop on death, and we dabbled into the PvE spear, getting into heroic dungeons and grabbing a lot of brand new upgrades. But I think we can do even better. We do have a soft goal of about 5k single target DPS, and I do think it's possible, but I think we need to push the build a little bit further in order to make it happen. I want to show you guys a PvP build I created, some fun clips, and the burst from this build. We'll talk about how Wind Slam in this video is actually going to end up being 10 times stronger, perhaps, than Wind Slam in the last video, because it was actually undertuned in the last video, and when the devs saw my video, they buffed it. And lastly, we're going to prestige our character 1 to 70, go through all the motions, tanking actually along the way, so that we can actually acquire the perfect PvE version of this build with the death wishes and all of the buffs. So I hope you guys enjoy, because it's going to be a journey. Let's get into it. So at the end of my last video, I decided to go for a better version of my PvP Hoplite build, and that means I needed to nail the shield wall, because the shield wall and the 60% damage reduction it brings me is literally paramount. It's one of the main reasons to even play a defensive stance shield build, and I didn't even have it, guys. So I went for it, and in order to do that, I needed to prestige. I bought my prestige scroll, bought a second spec from the PvP vendor for 68,000 honor, and that way I could keep my original Hoplite spec just in case the new one I'm about to prestige went badly. Not only that, but then I just took the plunge and I went straight for it. Now, I did actually level as a tank 15 to 70 during that run, and during that time I was actually able to nail what I think is a superior version of the Hoplite PvP build. I want to go ahead and show that to you guys, show you guys my very first South Shore versus Terran Mill game with it. A little hype, although uh, it doesn't matter, we'll get into it, and just the burst of this build and some other BGs as well. After that, what I'm going to go ahead and do is jump into a brand new prestige 15 to 70 this time with a pve focus because guys i need to nail a death wish version of the build with more pve spells if we're gonna actually make the grind i found out some interesting things about scryers and aldor in the last video and also some new things about lower city in this video and we need a freaking grind and the only way that's gonna go down is if it's fun and it won't be fun with this version of the spec but at least for now let's check out the pvp clips and then we'll see what happens
But the reason I wanted to show you guys that was because if you looked closely, I ended up killing the same people in the same, you know, 15 or 16 game win streak um, up to three times in a row. Uh, not necessarily in a row, but three times is what I mean in that streak. But really, I fought maybe seven people in 15 games, just to give you an idea, 15 or 16. And this is really important because what I wanted to convey here was just that if your build happens to be the one that's countering everybody else's at that precise moment that you're queuing, you can inflate your score so much. And that's kind of why I don't really know that many people that take Arena seriously on Ascension. Uh, it's because, like, really, you can play against complete, well, non-competitive people the entire time and still rack up a ridiculously high rating. And, you know, I could just imagine that if I wanted to, I could curate the specific times where people are, you know, queuing that I can beat. And then I would just keep doing that until I had a really high matchmaking value. Um, like, I don't feel like you can do that on many other versions of WoW, but because it's a private server and a small scene, it's just so less competitive. But I did have a lot of fun, and I proved to myself that Hoplite can be very strong in PvP. Now, you'll notice in those fights that I was both tanky and I did damage. I can certainly be out DPS. You can see right here, this is the guy that ended my streak playing a uh, Hunter build. Really interesting melee Hunter. And even though I had 60% damage reduction for like 10 seconds, he still bursted me down like I was literally butter. And he was a knife. It was insane to me how he sliced through me, if I'm completely honest with you, because I hadn't really seen it much before. And that just kind of shows the rock, paper, scissors nature of it all. And it's mostly out of your control, just to be completely real with you when it comes to Project Ascension PvP. However, that is not all, because I just wanted to show you guys what I experienced a day ago. This isn't even the main premise of the video. What I want to do now is prestige from scratch. I want to go back 15 all the way to level 70 and get the perfect build to start our heroic and mythic and raiding journeys with with the hoplite build i am still going to put out a video for this build as much as i have to until we meet our goal whether it's in this video or the next one or not a 5k single target dps with hoplite it's certainly impossible though with the versions of the spec that i currently have saved because i think this shield block spec is better than what i was playing before what i want to do is take the original spec from last video and completely prestige and redo it so let's go see if we can find some good skill cards and lucky cards and set ourselves up for success all right guys let's do it i have a really good set of skill cards for this run death wish wind fury weapon shield slam aspect of the beast and for my lucky cards rampage colossus smash and true shot aura if we can nail all of these spells we are going to have basically everything you could ever want for this spec i am hoping to get the ss just from rolling abilities i don't think it's going to be particularly difficult so all we need to do now is tank our way to the top i'm going to grab the crackling thunder epic enchant and that leaves lightning on the ground on my t clap that's going to make it incredibly easy easy to hold aggro and as long as I keep up with my talents along the way 15 to 70 tanking is going to be one of the easiest things of my entire life so that is the goal first though we've got to get to 15 so I've got a group right now power leveling me to 15 no streamer privilege this is just how you do it on ascension right uh but yeah healers and tanks man crazy high demand while leveling oh my god yes the group is already being toxic I mean this is how it is in the world bros all right I'm gonna get to 15 with or without this group we'll see what happens I'm literally not gonna say a word and just hope that it plays out but i gotta be honest i've been just like peacefully observing dumpster fires for a few days on ascension now it's just like how it is man when you get a bunch of people together all on one server but hey let's see what happens and i'll see you guys in a bit all right guys let's do it oh no not wc okay so like i said crackling thunder right now i have the thunderclap ren charge i definitely went charge over intercept for this version because i don't need the double intercept it's not pvp spec the charge is good enough it's not only good for leveling because i can get that extra rage for the clap it's also solid just uh, oh, we're skipping this. Okay. Yeah, so there's a new meta, by the way, where you just skip all the crappy dungeons. And uh, he just kick two people. Then the other three can leave without a dungeon penalty. And then you just requeue until you get something that's better. See? There you go. It's already starting. But yeah, the charge is just better because it's just good to have something, right? That's a gap closer. Plus, it's giving me the rage. So this is actually a solid start. I love that my Hoplite build can actually tank 15 to 70 and still go for the same spells. Because think about it. Shield slam? Yeah, don't mind if I do. Okay, dead mines. By the way, we got battle shot offered to us definitely what i want free ap that's basically as good as it gets so let's take it okay i bought gear off the auction house i'm fine now i was able to do it while we were like going in between dungeons because we kept getting bad cues there is zero excuse now okay like it's fine it, it's okay the dude's literally afk in the back and this is how it's been i swear to god I'm gonna die, and it's gonna be like, you don't have gear. All right, guys, level 50. There's a true shot aura from the lucky card. Yes! All good rolls so far. Not the best group, 
Uh, very elitist, but we've gotten really good rolls. I'll definitely take that. But yeah, this dude's been AFK basically the entire time and also doesn't want to heal me. Okay, 54. Taunt, cure toxins, mind flay. Okay, cure toxins, I guess. Okay, massive level 58 stocks pull. Don't mind if I do. As soon as I get the 66, I can go ahead and do the wonderful ring of blood and the ring of blood itself will bring us to 70. So that's definitely the goal. Later that same evening. I don't know why I do this. At the beginning, I always say, I know this is going to be a toxic bad group and then I stay anyway. Now, part of me is hoping it just won't be and that I'm pessimistic, but part of me knows that now I'm stupider for staying and that I should just not have been impatient. We need to fight back, guys. There's a lot of papegas now and I don't know why or how, but it's just not how it always was. So keep your eyes peeled. All right, guys, let's tank Hellfire Ramparts, right? I've got a pretty interesting little fun build we can do for a few levels while we tank. And uh, let me tell you what it is. First of all, it is Consecration and Thunderclap. That is the name of the game right now. I'm also tossing out the Revenge, but literally my build is two abilities and it's working. Now, I'm also block-based. I do have a shield, obviously, but hey, that's a whole nother thing. I'm going with the Righteous Zealot Enchant. I'll put that up on the screen right now, which you don't really see often. This gives me a chance to do damage and and heal the people in my party at the same time so it's kind of like a two-way thing where you're both you know doing something that harms the enemy and something that helps your teammates at the same time i like that let's go ahead and see if we can not die oh my god art and defender came out the racial's out oh we <laughs> barely lived that was too big for our own good dude but yeah it's some kind of holy warrior hybrid and it's as bare bones and simple as it gets i will say that and that's a good thing because it's working and it would be a horrible thing if it wasn't working but the fact that something so simple can still work is amazing i feel like all that healing is me dude like i actually made it to where my consecration also heals people so i'm trying to double down on that do damage to my enemy but do something to my ally effect with this you know preliminary tank build that we can use to get to 66 and it's working <laughs> which is just awesome dude all right so um can that guy get on me please come over here all right let's go ahead and uh, thunderclap i have the crackling thunder still can i not die be great all right we're good i think revenge Revenge also hits more than one target with the build I've got right now, which is pretty freaking sick if you ask me. All right, let's charge those into the Emanate, into the Thunderclap. Okay. I'm rooted, so I, like something's going to be hitting me from behind, but... Oh, now I'm stunned. Now everything's... Like, look at all the debuffs, dude. The lacerates, I guess. So it follows me now. Consecration follows me with the epic enchant that I'm using. I put these on the screen as well. These are all my consecration enchants. These are all the ones I'm using in general right now. Uh, I'm just gonna leave them for the remainder of this, you know, up until the boss fight, let's just say. Uh, but they're pretty freaking good. Now, I owned all of these, and one thing I noticed is that when you prestige, you get a crap ton of rewards for the level 70 version. It did change. Now, I am seeing a lot of the caches right now still giving... Like, level 60 gear, but I think that might change. Here's the thing though, they're actually buffing prestige items. Now, I can't even believe that in some ways. I can't be upset about it though, because I'll always take free stuff. Uh, but yeah, I already thought it was pretty good what you get for prestiging, but they're going to give you more heroic gear, I believe it is, when you prestige. Not to mention the mystic extracts I get. That's what actually lets you take an enchant off gear and then keep it forever, and then additionally be able to put it on more gear uh, whenever you acquire it down the road as well. I like that. I really, really like that. So every time I prestige, I'm getting like three, four, five. All right, guys, watch Keeper Gargomar. <laughs> what a freaking name, dude. Let's do it. Thunderclap, emanating light consecration. So following me while I move. And then I just revenge. Keep using Thunderclap and revenge on cooldown. I guess I can rend. It's just, it's like so, what even is it, right? It doesn't matter. I guess I go under one of these and the arrows stop hurting me, right? And I guess if I position myself like this, I don't go flying. Let's just go ahead and racial. I mean, that's what the racial's there for in many ways. Get it over with, right? Reapply the rend, I guess. Shield slam. And we'll just go in for the revenge. I'm going to consecration on cooldown as well, I think. This is actually working. I could just randomly throw a tank build together and it works. That is a really awesome sign. Yeah, like I'm not even kidding. It's just like random stuff from the warrior tree. Just anything with block in the name or parry or dodge I took. Um, <laughs> it's just so simple, man. The mythics are what I'm most excited for. But Karazhan is going to be interesting as well. Like, what do we get? Is it Karazhan? I think it's Karazhan. It says the unscarred, but I don't know. He kind of looks scarred to me. I guess he's technically not. Those are tattoos. But he, he still looks it, you know? 
Can we traverse the orbs? Awesome. Nobody's taking damage. I think that's all you do. I think a lot of people just pull them to the entrance and, like, apparently the orbs just don't go there. So, like, that's an option. And we gotta pull that hound. Oh, no, they're coming towards us. I wonder how this is gonna be on Mythic. I wonder if there's, like, different mechanics as well. So I'm doing Ring of Blood right now, and I gotta say, the leader of my group is seriously a man of culture. He is making sure that we actually get all the quests at the same time with a ready timer. I mean, it didn't stop people from screwing it up anyway. And now we have to do this boss again, but that's fine, because at the end of this quest chain, I'll be level 70. And we're gonna be doing a lot of rerolls, because I need to perfect this guy. 5k single target is one thing. Our AoE probably won't be that good, but you will be able to see the wind slam differences now. I wanna say that with the grind we're about to go on, we're gonna be pulling some pretty big DPS. That's the goal, anyhow. All right, guys, we did it. Level 70. And now what we need to do is actually start playing the Hoplite Wind Slam build at max level and get good DPS and PvE. Now, in the last video, we found out that the Scryer reputation is what we needed to get, and we needed to get it up as much as we could for this pair of pants. But I also found out off-camera that I could get exalted with another TBC rep, and that, my friends, is going to be the esteemed and the only Lower City. Now, Lower City reputation, you can see I'm at 2585 out of 3000 right now, only at neutral. If I get it to exalted i can actually get my hands on what might actually be the literal best spear for this build on the server right now so i was doing some searching on the auction house just looking for maybe some new upgrades if it was possible and that's when i saw this now i could have sworn i remembered this and i thought it was awful but then i looked at the ascension version of it and that is not what i remember my friends first of all i do remember strength stamina now that i think about it but look at that base damage 457 it gives 36 hit rating with a 3.6 speed that is actually a straight upgrade over my hyper scythe now yes i do lose crit but i am not hit capped and 36 hit rating would go a ridiculously long way this dude's selling one for 100 g of course when you look it up it says the original trident for pve is actually a 200 gold trident this is the pvp version of it at only 100 gold and i think because i do want to pvp with this character that this is actually worth buying so thank you to schmalzlock please don't let that be a bad word in german or something like that you can see it right here it's absolutely ridiculous giving me 36 hit rating strength and stamina i will lose crit on the upgrade but i do gain every other stat and hit rating is big for me right now so i think this might literally be it not to mention the fact that it's both slower and also has a higher amount of damage on it ridiculous right now here's the problem getting exalted is no joke right now I need to spam two specific dungeons in order to make it happen. Akanai Crypts and Sethic Halls, preferably on Heroic. Not only could I possibly get more upgrades during those runs, but I'll get the most amount of rep. And lots of people are doing this kind of stuff right now, so I should be able to find a group fairly easily. Here's the thing. This is not a one-hour journey, so what we're going to do is do the grind. And I think during that grind, we'll see if we can pull some pretty good DPS with the build. Here's another thing, though. What we're about to do is start re-rolling our abilities as much as we can. Currently, if you look at my currency up here on the top left, I've got 8,500 marks of ascension, all of which I can spend on Hands of Fate. Those Hands of Fate I will put towards brand new abilities, and I really, really think we can make the perfect version of the PvE Hoplite build, insofar as that build actually exists. We're about to prove it, in fact, if it is actually good at all. 5k DPS, that's the long-term goal. Will we meet it in this video? I don't know, but let's get to rolling, guys, and let's see if we can perfect this build. Let's make it happen. All right, so I've definitely got some stuff lined up. First of all, I need to get as much reputation with Lower City as possible, so I've looked up quite a few quest chains I can do. I'm gonna start with this first one right here. I've already picked it up at the Illyrian Stronghold, and it should net me about 2,000 Lower City rep. Considering the sheer amount of quests I can do to give me reputation, it looks like Lower City is one of the easier ones I can do, but I also decided to just bite the bullet and grab an aura of reputation off the DP shop. It's 100% bonus reputation from me and everybody in my party. That's one thing I do like about this kind of stuff is that it helps everybody else. It's not just yourself. So every time I queue now, not only am I going to be getting more lower city rep, which is great for me because I want to go a little bit faster, but everybody that I queue with gets it and that's going to be good for them. Just a little bit extra. It's kind of like having an 
aura of XP and that feeling you get when you just do a random queue and you get to help everybody, except now you're doing it with rep. So one thing I do want to make clear is I'm not saying you have to buy anything off the DP shop. I just decided to do this for me. But at the end of the day, we're getting a lot of value, so I definitely like that. It's only three day duration though, so we need to make use of it as much as we can. All right, just a few things to think about. First of all, I did a few dungeons and I've got my reputation up a decent amount with lower cities so far. You can see I'm at honored now, 1610 out of 12,000, which is not too bad. Number two, though, is that the Aura of Reputation says four days up here. So I guess it's four days, maybe it's five, and it's actually like four days, 23 hours, I don't know. But the point is, it lasts a little bit longer than I thought, which is at least good. I have more time than I thought I had. But number three, it turns out Sweeping Swing sucks for my build, and this is what I figured out. It just does no damage. But let me show you. If I pull all of this stuff, right? Let's see if I can LOS it properly. All right, so everything's gonna come to me, right? I'm gonna pop it. I'm gonna start doing some damage. Notice how no AOE damage is going off until I whirlwind, really. Okay, it doesn't come from, like, doing the jabs or anything. Based on this version of the tooltip, it only means my main hand auto attacks strike three additional nearby enemies, but I do 20% reduced physical damage. When it said auto attacks, I guess for some reason I thought... I would, you know, be able to proc that with the thrust and the wind furies would even, you know, add to that. And it did not. So as far as I could see, this is complete garbage. So I think blade flurry is the way to go. And the biggest problem I think lies in this very fact that I desperately, desperately need AOE and I just don't have it. So this is going to have to be literally single target only. Luckily, we do have this killing spree. I completely forgot about it. So hey, maybe that's going to actually help me on single target. I don't know. But uh, the Colossus Smash, it does seem correct. You can see that's pretty freaking sick. One thing I do wish is that the damage translated a little bit more accurately between like what you fight on like NPCs and what you do in PvP. Sometimes I just wish it was a little bit more accurate uh, and tuned in some way, but hey, it is what it is, I guess. The goal is definitely exalted with lower city ASAP. I've got everything popped, even going for potions of XP, seriously trying to get that spear. At least we know for sure now which way to go, and that is not the sweeping strikes route. It's definitely the whole nine yards with Zephyr, Wind Slam, and Sinister Flurry for more combo points as well. All that Wind Fury synergy. I will just go ahead and say this is the version of the build I'm going with. It's all in my Discord. Uh, it's very similar to the one from last video but we took out pvp talents and we added things like you know consistent expertise so i am expertise capped and with better items will be hit capped very soon i am currently four percent off hit cap which really really hurts i definitely do feel it uh, but with that spear for example it's not going to be that way everything else is very very similar so we're just building combo points quickly we have a lot of ways to uh get extra attack speed we have now a lot of ways by the way to uh ignore armor with the shredding blows and also with this talent right here from the subtlety rogue tree and relentless strikes but also now with the colossus smash so a lot of reducing armor you almost wish you could mace spec uh but there is no mace on your pole arm right i do really like the way it plays i do really think the talents like they look good they feel good everything feels correct my damage just doesn't seem up to par with a lot of other people now, I think we all knew that coming in, but if I can't do at least 5k DPS, I'm going to consider it a fail. I'm not giving myself to the end of this video to prove that, obviously, but it would be nice. I think the ultimate goal at this point, though, is definitely going to be exalted with Lower City. Also, maybe killing this random person. Yeah, that works for me. But look at this guy, 750 rep with Lower City with everything popped. That is seriously no joke. Questing just became a whole lot better. It's definitely worth it for me in between queues. So like I said, we're going to queue up again. I didn't really get a lot of rep, by the way, from that Akanai Crypt run. So actually, I completely misread this. Basically, what happens is if I want to get reputation up to revered through dungeons, I can only do it for this one in Shadow Labyrinth. Akanai Crypts and Sethic Halls, that was just up until Honored. So I just hit Honored, meaning I'm actually perfect right now. It's just I only need to queue for Shadow Labyrinth, and that is literally it. So you can see at the end of it all, only 2.6k DPS, which is a minor upgrade over what we did in the last video at about 1.8 to 2k average DPS. So this is at least a lot better, 
but uh, it's a long way away from 5k. Let's be fair, I don't have any PvE power really. I still have a lot of PvP power that we have to replace. Our item level is actually getting kind of high now though. Uh, it's a little sad, but like I said, we are literally going for a brand new weapon. We do have a green shield, but stat wise, the shield's actually pretty good for what I'm doing, so I really don't know what is much better than this. My trinkets are kind of suboptimal, but I did just get a good upgrade, which is the Jewel of Charismatic Mystique. It's good because it gives me 32 more hit rating, and I do desperately need that. So actually, after I get my brand new spear, I will be hit capped with my enchants and everything added on to uh, what I have right here. So that's actually a really big plus. I will be hit, expertise, everything capped. Guys, look at my freaking AP. 1914. It's insane, and yet for some reason it's still so much of a struggle. The guy in first place was some kind of pally build, but I've seen way higher. Perhaps the craziest thing though is that there's titanic mutilate builds out there doing 9, 10, 11k DPS and uh, other builds as well. It's pretty nutty. Oh, but by the way, we got mega mega reputation with this run, and this was huge guys. Look at that. I'm already revered. All I gotta do is get through this now and we are exalted. Alright, 3.4k that time. I'll take it. I was trying to get these guys to kill more mobs so I could get more reputation, but they weren't falling for it. They wanted to skip Murmur, the last boss. As you can see, I still need 10 or 11,000 more reputation, and then I'll be exalted. So we're just gonna keep queuing. It's literally as good as it gets for me right now with reputation. I still never get over this stuff, dude. McDoubles pulls 15k DPS with a Ghost Wolf spec. That's facts, man. I heard McDoubles gets all the ERP girls on here. Also facts. McDoubles is sus. Super facts. I saw McDoubles take candy from a baby and then laugh. Absolutely not true. But the rest of it was very much true. This one's not true. I changed my mind. I did not do that. Okay. That just, okay. All right, guys. I think this is going to be a shorter episode because I do want to get this video out today. But let me tell you guys what's been going down. So far, I've been DPS testing myself on these master dummies, these heroic dummies. I'm not perfectly hit capped, so I think the master is a little bit better for me. But it might not actually matter at all. The point of the matter is I'm getting about 3.8k DPS. That's 3.8k DPS, bros. I mean, that's actually pretty freaking good compared to what I was getting at the very end of that murmur boss on SL, okay? I really like the 3.8k because 1.2k more DPS seems in arm's reach, but I don't know where to go. I will say my Discord once again has my spec in it, and if you guys think you have any ideas for it, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. I am purposefully doing this as a progression thing. We are going step by step by step and not immediately going to the end, and I do like to do that, but I could always use somebody's help. But yeah, 3.8k DPS, definitely where I want to be right now. Now we're going to go ahead and get our reputation up with Shadow Labyrinth all the way to Exalted. I've got a couple other goals in that regard. We've got to get that PvE spear for sure, though. And we have to get more gear in general because Karazhan is coming out. So we've got to make sure we meet whatever the DPS is going to be for that. I don't even know what people are going to require yet. But like I said, some people are doing DPS that's just so far out of the ballpark compared to what other specs are doing right now that it makes it almost impossible to know what people are going to want. But before we end the video, Video, guys let's go ahead and say this first of all just like all my other videos of the TBC expansion so far I'm going to be doing a giveaway in this video for what is essentially a starter pack a reborn chest of ascension thingy that gives you some awesome stuff worth a lot of gold if you don't want it yourself and also an experience aura which is the same concept worth a lot of gold if you don't want to use it yourself you get both all you have to do if you want to win is leave a comment in the comment section below like the video that's super important and leave me your in-game name in your comment so I know who to send the rewards to. If you don't want it to be your main's name for whatever reason, make a brand new character. As for the last video though, let's go ahead and go to the comment picker and see who's going to win so we can go ahead and mail them their reward and then close out the video. Alright guys, let's do it. Got the link, let's put it in and look at this once again. Can I do 9 plus 7? Oh wow, I was literally Freudian slip. 9 plus 8, that's 17. Okie dokie. Let's see, get the YouTube comments. How many do we got for this video? This is only a few days after, it's two days even. Okay, 278, that's wonderful. Alright guys, let's do the raffle. Who's gonna win? Kill the pig. He comments 120, and his in-game name is Legacy Orc. What is 120? I guess that would be in my last video, right? Guys, I just realized what this guy was linking. Listen to this part of my video starting at 120. Pop the Blood Rage and get my thrust going as fast as I can. I want to throw <laughs> oh, so damn fast God. and so damn hard until I eventually uh, yep. just blow up. 
Yep. You know what I mean? And yep. blood the rage goes reference. away. Yep. And then when blood rage goes away, yep. I'm done. And, the blood and I got goes no away steam and I'm left. Done. Yep. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Let's be real. It was too easy. But yeah, congratulations to you, Legacy Orc. Let's go ahead and mail you your stuff. All right, so we're on my alt character now. I've got it set to Legacy Orc's name. We have the RR right there and the Reborn Supporters Chest. Congratulations, man. Hope you enjoy your stuff. I hope you keep watching. Big doubles. With a little heart this time, just for you, Legacy Orc. There you go. Enjoy, buddy. Cannot find mail recipient. <laughs> Yo, you guys keep giving me your Area 52 names. It happened to the last guy that won too, and I was able to get back to him, and he made an account on the right server, and I was able to give it to him. Now to you, my friend, Legacy Orc, please. I will reply to your comment on YouTube for this in particular and uh, get you to uh, give me an Alar username so I can send you your stuff. But for you guys out there, my god, the Stormwind music is kind of loud for me. For you guys out there, do not forget, I need to make this clear, the character needs to be on the Alar server, which is the seasonal one that everyone's actually playing. All right, buddy, don't worry. Like I said, I'll get to you. Congratulations regardless, and good luck to the guys for the next video. Also, just as another thing to keep in mind, a lot of you guys are in my Discord, and that is freaking sick. It's mostly a place to get updates, a little bit of discussion here and there. Uh, you know, it's just fun to be a part of a community, I think. But one thing I didn't know existed until somebody in the Discord started it the other day was that apparently, if I scroll down here, you guys can see, you can make these little threads on uh, the little at everyone's for my videos. In other words, if you want to have a discussion on anything that happened in the video, and and you're in my discord and you want me to see it like immediately that's a good place to leave a comment you can see right over here on the right hand side it has all the discussion stuff but basically it seems to be that for a few days it has this open discussion part of my channel where uh it's just easy to see easy context for everybody to jump right in talk about anything and i can help you with that if i ever forget to link a build for example if you ever want something specifically that you saw in that video i'm not saying i'm at your every beck and call but i'm saying i'm much more likely to see you uh and to see what you're saying and stuff like that so that could be a pretty decent place once again making one of these little threads right here uh to get my attention if you need to uh do that on any kind of video or whatever's going on just want to put that out there because i thought it was a really cool little feature so what can i say guys wind slam definitely a lot better than it was in the last video right we went up 2000 dps from the dps we had in the last hoplite video and there's still plenty of room to work with it we're gonna work on the build more we're gonna collect more gear more reputation and i'll see you guys in one more video that should be the finale video for the hoplite build where we should hopefully have the dps milestone completed 5000 that is the goal if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one big doubles out <laughs>